What's up everyone? Welcome to the first ever video of Tech Bytes with Sean. Today is a new adventure for me with starting this channel, so bear with me. And the quality of the video and the audio and everything else that comes along with it, um, I'm learning as I go, so there might be some hiccups and uh, issues with it. Here we go. Today I'm starting out with upgrading my wife's PC. Uh, it's a older PC. It's my first Ryzen build. It's got the Ryzen 1700X in it. Um, uh, with my old uh, Radeon RX 580, uh, eight gigs graphics card. It's a little dusty, don't mind the dust. Uh, she uses it for remote work, so I am going to change it out because she wants to switch out desks. So. With that being said, she uses two monitors and this thing is up off the floor so the kids can't get it. Um, so it needs to be a little bit smaller so therefore we can put it behind the monitor but she still has access to a full PC. So I'm gonna take this out. I'm upgrading the motherboard, I'm upgrading the power supply and I'm upgrading the case but the graphics card, the processor, the cooler, uh, the memory, everything's staying the same. It's got 16 gigs of um, Vengeance, uh, Corsair Vengeance memory, running at 23, 33 megahertz. It's got a solid state drive, that's all she needs. She just remotes in. So, here we go. So the case I'm going to be using is the Dark Flash Luxury ITX chassis, uh, the DLH21. I have not seen anyone use this yet. Uh, I was looking online and I was trying to find out what people's thoughts were and I couldn't find any. So, I decided to make this video uh, to try it out, see what happens. So let's open it up. First off, it's cool. It's got a cool bag that it comes with. So there's the case. It's got a box with. screws for the motherboard, fans, and it's got like little grills to protect them. Uh, rubber stoppers for the USBs to keep all the dust out of them. Pretty empty. Cool. <coughs> and then I got a certified refurbished Corsair SF series power supply. Yes, I went refurbished. Hopefully, it doesn't have any issues. So we'll find out. This one looks fully modular. So we have our the Molex, we have a PCI Express, a SATA. That's all the SATA they give us? Well, I guess it's ITX, four of them on there. A CPU and PCI Express and then the power plug. And this little guy, holy cow. <laughs> I was not expecting it to be that small. It is tiny. That is... That's small. Wow. 
Pretty cool, it's got a silent operation at low to moderate loads. In this mode, the fan will not spin. That's pretty cool. And that is nifty. So that's the power supply I'm gonna be using in this small case. And then this is the motherboard, which I'm not gonna take out of the packaging just yet. It's tiny also. This is the first my mini ITX. Yeah, mini ITX build that I've done. I've done a lot of just regular ATX uh, builds in full tower cases and mid towers, but nothing, nothing this small. So there's the uh, antenna with built-in Wi-Fi. Oh, it's a. Uh, the B450i Aorus Pro Wi-Fi by uh, Gigabyte. Got it on Amazon. I got all these on Amazon. Uh, the motherboard was 130. Power supply was 100. Yeah, 100. And the case was 98. So everything here could be found on Amazon. So let's start taking this one apart and putting all this stuff back in to the new one. I forgot to plug in my mic on this first set of recording, so I apologize for that and hopefully the audio will get better and we'll see what happens. So let's get to work. builds. It's a skill electric screwdriver. Also has a live wire test too. Uh, this is pretty cool. And I also use the tiny little iFixit. I got off Amazon for like 14 bucks. Uh, really cool small bits, interchangeable blades, magnetic tips. This is comes in handy all the time. She's all buttoned up. I think it looks pretty cool. It's pretty small, pretty slim. Uh, there's LED lights here at the bottom. So I'm gonna see if it'll at least post. <clears throat> so it posted.
slowly changing color at the bottom. It's pretty nifty. Oh, and then if you you can see the ring inside, which is actually pretty cool of the uh, Wraith cooler inside there. That's pretty neat. So all in all, let's see what happens when I power it up uh, over at the computer. So I think that wraps it up for the first video of Tech Bites with Sean. If you guys enjoy the video, uh, or if you feel like you want to, go ahead and like this video, subscribe if you would like to see anything else coming up. Um, any questions or comments or anything, leave a comment down below. Uh, thanks, we'll see you guys next time.